I got some of these lithium charging modules off eBay and they're the ones that take the micro USB in and you connect the cell and it, it controls the charging. But these ones are the ones that also have the discharge protection. As soon as the voltage drops below about uh, 2.7 volts or somewhere just below 3 volts, uh, it cuts the power off from the cell. It stops it being discharged. And I wondered... The characteristics are actually quite close to three nickel metal hydride cells and could one of these modules be used to charge these? And it could certainly be used to partially charge them but it doesn't quite work. Now, <clears throat> when you've got three cells in series, nickel metal hydride, if you over discharge them, if you go below say about 2.4 volts because the first cell's gone flat, you know, it could be any random cell, it's going to have slightly less charge than others. What actually happens, if you continue pulling current, it, it reverse charges that cell because the other two are still trying to push current through the circuit and it just gets in the way and it gets reverse charged and it can cause chemical damage inside it. It can actually reduce its capacity and it creates a sort of avalanche effect that if you keep running things like power tools down to the very bottom uh, to the point that they grind to a halt, you're actually causing progressive damage to the pack doing that. You should always uh, recharge it as soon as it starts dropping off at all. So I reckon that uh, if I put one of these on, then... Oh, where's the notepad? Here we go. I'll just... Uh, I reckon that if we had the three cells in series, and each of those cells starts off about... They tend to start at the end of charge. They're around about 1.5 volts. But during the actual main bulk of the discharging, it's closer to about 1.2 volts. So the combined, uh, they'd be at the start at 4.5 and uh, running it to be typically 3.6 volts. You probably recognise that as some of the triple uh, nickel metal hydride packs are called 3.6 volt packs. Now, this unit will uh, happily pass, uh, 3.6 volts is a perfectly acceptable voltage of this unit. It will actually switch the output to the output from the cells until, if you consider, suppose this cell at the bottom starts going flat, then the combined voltage of the other two cells will just be 2.4 plus the voltage of that cell. And as soon as that drops below about, say, 2.7 to 3 volts, this module will it will just basically turn the power off. It will just basically isolate the cells. And that bit actually works really well because I did put a load in this from fully charged and when it suddenly turned off and it was quite decisive, I measured the voltage across and one of the cells had just started going uh, flat. So that's good. So there I decided... <sighs> I've never actually looked at the charging characteristics of nickel metal hydride cells, but I was hoping that it was going to be somewhere 1.2 to, say, 1.3 volts for most of the charge cycle, and that it was only at the end that it would suddenly rise to the 1.5. It doesn't do that, unfortunately. What actually happened is that the voltage uh, went up to a modest level, and then it crept up really quite quickly. And I was using this... Uh, milliamp power monitor, this USB charge monitor, to not only uh, monitor how much power went into the batteries, but it also detects when the current drops, when this circuit switches off, and it uh, beeps to tell you that it's finished and it turns the power off to the circuit so you can get a good accurate reading. And it showed that the voltage went up modestly quickly, uh, and unfortunately these are 1900 milliamp power cells, and the only put in about 580 milliamp hour before it actually cut off. So unfortunately that aspect of it doesn't work, which is a shame because if it had um, been, if it had been the case that it start, it just basically held, well what's uh, 4.2 volts, what's the upper limit uh, divided by 3? 4.2 volts divided by 3 if they'd stayed below 1.4 volts for most of the charge and then just gone up a wee bit at the end, even if it had been, say, 1,500, 1,700, something like that, before it did that, um, I'd have been happy at that. But it, it just, it, it, you know, it, it would have, ideally it would have just waited to the very end and then it would have cut off the charge, which would also have been a good thing because uh, it saves them being sort of left trickle charging. 
So um, it had to be tried. It kind of it works the discharging aspect, but unfortunately it doesn't work for the charging aspect, but it was certainly worth a, worth a go, because uh, it might have worked, but, but it didn't. <laughs>